I think we can all admit that we're drawn to an MMO for the story, the gameplay, and the depth of PvE, but we stay for the PvP. When the dungeons, the loot farming, and the dailies become monotonous and repetitive, hopefully the game you're playing has a strong PvP system to keep things fresh. What if I was to tell you that there was a game being created that promotes the perfect balance of both? Enter Ashes of Creation. I'm here to say that Ashes of Creation will bring a balance between PvP and PvE. Again, that sounds sensational, and I used to agree with that thought, but we're going to talk about just that. Why the game design, as currently constituted, provides a perfect balance of PvE and PvP. Let's first cover the types of PvP. We have the standard duels and battlegrounds, but that's, that's in every game. But what isn't in every game is high-risk options. What isn't in every game is castle sieges, caravan sieges, node sieges. Now, before we get to those, those nodes, or the meat of the discussion, let's discuss the, the caravan sieges. The caravan sieges is a great example of a PvE and a PvP balance. It's PvE that invites PvP. You want or need to transport goods for high-end yields? Well, you start a transport caravan. People want your goods, and people will take them if you're not willing to fight for what's yours. Or, much like the early days of the Crusaders, you can hire player mercenaries to guide you safely. Even trading guilds will need battle-proficient players. We've seen this on a few games, but it's a perfect example of AOC encouraging a blend of PvE and PvP. So, okay, let's get to the node. The nodes, that's perhaps the biggest and most incredible aspect of AOC. The implementation of nodes will either make or break the game, in, in my opinion. But the PvE and PvP balance in creating a node and what happens after a node will be absolutely huge. First, let's talk about the balance between PvE and PvP in creating a node. To understand what I'm getting at, you have to understand what each node does. If you're watching this video, you probably do, so in short, there are four different styles of nodes. Each style will benefit a playing style. Crafting, PvP, dungeon ventures, etc. Whoever helps build up the node and how they help build it will have a direct effect on what the node does after it's built. I theorize that not only will there be an active building process, but there will also be an active defense as well. So, if a PvP-minded guild or group prefers a military node, there will likely be a, a Brute Squad. Beat it or I'll call the Brute Squad. I'm on the Brute Squad. You are the Brute Squad. Chasing off the economic-minded type, or at least to the extent of the anti-griefing system will allow. Remember, we have a direct influence on what happens in the game. If that direct influence involves not only how it's built, but policing those who are building it, then have at it. Okay, so the node has been created. Let's just say it's a military node. Well, there will be node sieges, planned and random node sieges. Say a PvEer wants to have access to a certain style of dungeon that can only be accessed in that location, or say you want that node area to bless you as a crafter. Well, when you see an announcement, it's in your interest to take action. It's in your interest to take that node. There'll be plenty of preparation time to gear up and go lend a hand. I, I think you see where I'm going here. Take the node and help develop the node into something that you find satisfying. This will encourage strong bonds in your own guilds, but also sister guilds. It'll encourage camaraderie, campaigns, PvE, meeting, PvP, and role-playing for extra measure. This will encourage longevity. Castle Sieges. You don't want to have the top guilds be the top dogs in the top five castles? Well, take the castle back. And this is only some of the aspects of PvP and how they will harmonize with PvE. That, in a nutshell, is what excites me. 
Ashes of Creation promises to be an ever-evolving game that creates harmony between PvE and PvP. PvE gets you in the game, PvP will keep you in the game. In the game of Ashes of Creation. If you liked what you saw, like what you saw. Hit the subscribe button if you want some more Ashes of Creation videos just like this. It, it, it makes me feel good. I am Joshua with Weird Gaming Adventure, and we at Weird Gaming Adventure love you in a weird way. We'll see you in the next video.